What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. And hey, man, say, man, if you know better, you'll do better. What's taking you so long? Like and subscribe to the channel, all right? What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Back with another video. If you don't know, the channel's been doing great. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, hit the notification bell. You get all my videos and all my updates, okay? Today, we are diving back into our overviews of sound banks and presets. Um, but we have a new engine, we have a new uh, VST instrument. Heat Up 3. This is by Initial Audio. Now, to me, it seems like when it first came out that this was supposed to be the um, the Nexus, kind of the rival to Nexus. Now, Nexus has been out and has the lead, of course, but don't sleep on Heat Up 3. Don't sleep. Don't. <sighs> My bad. Don't sleep on Nexus 3. All right, um, they come out with, well, consistently, they've come out with a new bank each month. So every 30 days, give or take, they come out with a new bank and they keep it refreshed. So as long as they do that, I think it's worth the money, okay? Now, uh, we all, you know, with me, you got to start off with that first sound bank, that default bank. So what does that default bank provide and is it, what do I rate it? All right, you know, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just do this to give back, all right? So we're going to start off right here. We got the bases open up and of course this is a mix of um, the actual synth bass, 808s, sub basses and actual maybe uh, guitar basses all right? or bass guitars. So I'm not going to go through each set because that we would be here forever but I have already pre-picked out some sounds I liked and what we should go over. Now the Black Rims 808 was alright. Um, the 808 I saw, the, the two that I saw that I know people would like with a clean 808 okay I think anytime you start off for a, a bank you need a, a 808 to go to and the good thing about 808s that are in uh, that are instrument wise they're already in key sometimes when you get those one shot drums it might be in B it might be in G it might be in F usually they're in C but it might be off and you're putting it in and you're thinking that for new producers who don't know how to get the key right away that could be a nuisance so right off the bat you get a 808 that you can use and it's in key already so the clean 808 was good the clean 808 boosted now just like track guard too i don't know why they they rename stuff but don't really change anything with it all right but clean 808 you always need a clean 808 in your track um next up crushed 808 was dope i like the crushed 808 Always need that little little bit of distortion and with heat up you have your delays your reverbs your chorus your master gains your um, your ADSR which is your attack decay sustain release so you can manipulate it as well and also you have some folders down here all right so don't get it twisted you can manipulate a little bit make it your own next up we had the dope muted Okay, nice little uh, kind of like upright bass, but a good bass that for your soul samples. Um, I knockout 808 was straight, kind of more of the same. And then we had the mustard. We gotta have a mustard. So I'm just trying to show you that you got a little variety. Of course, some of it overlaps, and that's in. So. The reason why we mention that is some uh, some of it overlaps, but that is expected with every VSTI. There's there's nothing that you haven't seen or heard before. You, you know nothing new under the sun. So it is what it is. And um, racks, of course, you got to have your tiger. Okay, and then they have a um, flexing, which is like a uh, where'd it go? Flexing. Oh, there it goes. Which is kind of like your your synth bass. That so let me uh, double click on that. So it's 
So your Toronto, your Drake, your uh, Tory Lanez, Weekend type of sound. All right, Bells. Bells was kind of tricky. I found a, I found a couple that I liked. I'm going to play the MIDI with it as well. We had Dream, Ices. Fantasy. And five. Those were the ones I picked out just to showcase it has a you know a little different feel. You know, you're not gonna use bells on every track, and it's not like Omnisphere bells where there's tons and tons, but with those five you can get started and you can tweak just a little, alright? The brass was, um, of course, is there's no substitute for the real brass, no substitute for real guitar. But they did have some that, that you know, you could use. And one was called, the, this is the anthem. Badass. Black on black. Dr. Dreish and Rick Ross. Okay, so and then it got kind of repetitive, but once again, it has that bass where you can take them and then find more sounds. All right. Next up, we have choirs. Now I picked out a couple of them. Because then they got repetitive. Let's see. That's nice for a choir. That that's nice. That is not speci uh, just specific on choirs. That's nice. Fifth Ave. I like that. Illuminate. Rita Ah, now this is what's cool. They have like some some uh, trap soul kind of uh, vocal chops. Uh, All right, the Rita Ah and the Rita O. You can work with that. You can work with that. And then they also they have some ambiance one uh, dedicated from Bobby Smurda type of tracks. Kind of lo-fi-ish, but you can, you know, and it can fit in the background. And the last one, Vienna, which was nice as well. Okay. The drum kits, I'll let you go over the drum kits. The drum kits, they have things in there, but I don't think you need to, unless it was just something that blows your mind. I don't want to show you that because you don't, you probably won't use a whole VST just for one drum, you know. I mean... They have, they do have it laid out, just like the old Triton you know, or the Phantom used to be. Gated, ah, this was a good one. Bug Copter was a good one. I like that one. Uh, after Noon Pad was dope. All right, and cool. Cassie's. I don't know if that's after Ryan Leslie and Cassie or what. Kind of like Timberland ish. The hits. Hits aren't the thing anymore. They used to be the thing of the past. I mean, they're the thing of the past, like the uh, the young ch the Chicago early on. Um, Scott Storch. They're not used to. We don't use them as much in production. Maybe we somebody can bring them back. All right. <laughs> That's a good one. You just always need that one, just good one, and getting ready. All right, but other than that, we like said we don't really use hits, but it's nice that they have them in there if you need them. All right, keys. We're going to start with the diamond. Now, the keys, they're giving you a lot of different sounds. Of course, it's straight out the bank, so we're just trying to see is it worth it. All right.
that's Diamond, Grand Stage number one. Like I say, you just need something. Can you use it? All right. We've heard all the sounds before. Can you use that one? Rivers. Rivers was nice. Has some nice te texture to it. started from inspired by Drake I guess so I'm just looking for something different you know I know what a grand piano sounds like of course you they have that but you always want something different you're gonna pay all this money for these VSTs right all right when we come to leads we have the 24 karat I thought this one would be cool for you guys Ayo wins, kind of like a substitute maybe for a flute. Okay, and Wayne filtered, a little Wayne type of lead. It's not bad at all. And they have a nice selection, it's just they get repetitive. And it's uh, I think they give you the envelopes and the chords and the, the different effects so you can go in and change them yourself. All right. Next up, we have the organs. There's only now there was a couple organs that were good off the bat. And I'm, I was looking at uh, if you ever heard the song by Jay-Z success, this is sounds like this. Sounds like this organ, like that right here. It's definitely that success. So um, that church organ is what they kind of use. And then they have Ham. If you've heard the uh, Ham song with Kanye and Jay-Z. Ham and Ham 2 and No Pressure. No Pressure was a good one. Okay, um, pads, got the pads to the moon, reminding me of Travis Scott. Sorry about that. Got a little lost in the short sauce. All right. Bad Christmas. Bad Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the main menu. Bad Christmas was a... Was another one that was good. All right. Bad Christmas. And epic. Like I say, nothing new under the sun, but just some good sounds out the gate. That's what we're looking for. Plucks. We got Crocs. All right. And digits. like that and Nintendo which is definitely an ode to the Nintendo games you know I mean those are always good for one track out of every 60 that you do but just to know that you have it at your access is always dope and then we have the guitars now I only found two that I really like one would sound like an Eminem type of guitar from um, eight mile days and then you had the uh, amped up guitar. I 
I can see that at the back of a track in the background and um, Chronicle, which is the one I felt sounded like the Eminem. Okay. But not too much to write home about in the guitar area, but of course nothing substitutes a real guitar. But um, try to get a VST plug-in dedicated just to guitars for the best sound and then put guitar rig on it, you know? Strings. Deep down. Deep down. <laughs> We also have what's this dripping, dripping tears. Just that little bit of difference kind of makes it, you know, that makes a, a a huge impression because everything starts to sound the same when you're doing these reviews, reviews, reviews. But the little things, little tears or raindrops dropping in the background made a big difference to me. And then one called Scarface, based upon the movie. Giorgio type of style. All right, and then simps. There wasn't too many simps, and they kind of to they kind of bleed bled over with the leads and the pads. So I had to really pick some that I thought that you would like, and I, of course, dark matter effects. Okay, and Dr. Dre whistle. This effect has definitely been played in. Dr. Dre, he's just real subtle, good for layering, trap beats, all right, and, oh, underrated, and one of the other things that get, oh, gets used once every 60 to 70 tracks, a whistle. All right, and then, of course, they, I don't know why they threw it in, but they threw in some wobble, which is based upon trap, EDM, Skrillex type of. We're not going to go into that. But anyways, let me know how you're feeling. Like and subscribe to the channel. It's Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. This is Heat Up 3. This is the factory bank. All right. I got plenty more to do. This is the Heat Up factory bank. All right. And since they've done the factory bank, they've also done the platinum factory. But the factory bank, nothing else. We got a lot more to go through. So I'll get, through, I'll get to those in the coming weeks. Make sure you like and comment so we can grow. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you just like those platforms at HW Floss. Let me know what you think. Is heat up worth it or not? I'm going to give it like a six and a half, seven out the box. I know we've been stuck in that area. I'm trying to get to the nines and tens. But let me know what you think about it, all right, if you have it, all right? And if you're not, would you buy it? It's Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Lock in. <laughs>